Okay, if you watched my video yesterday, you know I did a crude little illustration to explain to people how primer drag happens in subcompact and microcompact, mostly striker fired guns. Well, I tried to keep that illustration, that animation as simple as possible as not to confuse people, but it seems like by keeping it simple, I did confuse some people. Some people uh, started making comments and sending me emails saying, that animation doesn't accurately represent the browning action. Well, that animation wasn't supposed to do that. They're like, the slide should be moving with the barrel and the barrel should be moving with the slide and the barrel should touch the breech face as it starts to tilt. I was like, well, I don't know how you can see that it did or didn't do that in that illustration since the barrel and the breech face neither one are actually shown in that illustration that was just showing the relationship of the firing pin to the actual primer so today I thought well you know I didn't want to have to do the more complicated illustration for two reasons one it's more complicated and two if you actually show it in its more realistic format you don't see the difference as much it's harder to illustrate that difference in relationship between the firing pin and the primer but just to clear up some of the people got confused I will do that right now today. Okay, in this illustration, you can see the blue part represents the actual slide of the gun. So when we watch this action happen while the slide is actually represented, you'll see that the firing pin goes forward, embeds in the primer, the primer causes the gun to fire, the gun fires, the slide and barrel start to move slightly to the rear. I didn't feel any need to show that since I wasn't illustrating the action, but they do both start to move to the rear together. As they're moving to the rear, the firing pin is retracting. And then once it reaches a certain point, the barrel starts to move downward. That causes the round to start to be slightly extracted and the firing pin is continuing to move backwards. And as this is happening, you can see the firing pin just starts to barely clear the primer as it's moving downwards. Then the slide continues to the rear, the firing pin completely resets, the barrel tips down just a little bit more, the round is extracted a little bit more, and then the barrel locks up and the slide continues on without it, pulling the spent casing from the barrel and ejecting it, which I'm not going to show you that in the illustration. You're just going to have to imagine that. This is normal function. Now to show you where it gets to be a little different, I'll show you here now what happens sometimes when you have a striker fired gun, especially smaller ones where everything has to move a little bit faster. Everything happens exactly the same up until the point where the gun fires and starts to recoil. Then, as the slide and barrel start to move rearward, you can see that the firing pin, because that's actually moving faster, isn't resetting quite as quickly. Now, these aren't done to scale speed-wise. I'm showing you at this point, the firing pin is not back as far as it would be normally. And because of that, when that barrel first starts to tilt, there's still a tiny bit of contact between the firing pin and the primer. And you can see here, the difference is so tiny, it's hard to really see in this illustration. That's why I did the illustration the other way the first time. But as you can see, there is a little bit of a difference there. And that's when you get your striker drag or primer drag, whichever one you want to call it, that's when it occurs. And then the guns go on to cycle normally in every other way. So there you go. I hope that more accurate illustration, that more detailed illustration, clears up any confusion that some people might have had. I kind of hate that I had to do this, but you know, that's what I signed up for when I started doing YouTube. And I don't want to make y'all feel guilty or anything, but because some of you got confused, this is what I spent my Saturday doing instead of going roller skating. So there you have it. No guilt, like I said, but you people are going to be the death of me.